Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to update your bootloader. Now if you're wondering this is OSX Lion. This is the same system that uh, had um, Mountain Lion recently installed on it. And if you remember from the tutorial, if you watched it, um, you'll remember that Well, there was a kernel panic because of the, um, there's the mountain lion partition. There was a kernel panic because of the graphics. And, uh, before I touch any tech in that partition, even the internet, I know we're going to need to do the internet kecks, I intend on updating the bootloader. And this is why. A lot of graphics issues, a lot of motherboard issues in that get resolved with the bootloader because of the instructions that are given to the operating system when it boots up under the emulation that it's running on a Mac and not on a PC. So this might actually be the one step fix for a lot of you out there. I'm hoping it will be for me, although with my luck it might even cause some other problems. But, uh, we'll see. It's good to be up to date, though, it's, uh, because, you know, the people who work on uh, bootloaders like Chimera, and there are others out there, I'm just choosing Chimera because I like the looks of it. Um, these guys are working hard to make sure that a, a wide spectrum of PCs are um, compatible with Mac OS X. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to show you how. Now, in most cases, when you were to install a bootloader, you would install it with MultiBeast, and that would probably be the way that you would get it on. I, uh, when I set up this system, I set up EasyBeast um, on an older version of uh, MultiBeast, version 2.2, .2, because it had the the support for my NVIDIA card, which is an 8400, which is old. And it turns out that in order to be able to boot into uh, Mountain Lion, you need um, an updated version of Chimera. So, without further ado, you double click on it. If it's on your desktop or wherever you put it, it'll probably be in your downloads. I just took it out the downloads to make it easier. Um, and so, essentially, you just continue and um, I don't know if this is going to affect me but I don't really care continue continue agree this is the primary partition by the way this is why I'm doing this tutorial here um, I certainly don't want to be back in the days where uh, my second partition was actually treated as the first oh that was horrible that was a horrible mess to clean up. So, basically, this is where we're going to install the new bootloader. And, uh, basically, as I said before, uh, this one, I had version uh, 1.5.4. So, yeah, that's a jump of six points there. Well, not six points as in version, but six iterations. So we're going to install the software. Um, like always, when you do this kind of thing, you should always have a backup plan because it is Hackintosh and machines don't always operate the same. You can get something called Rboot, which is a CD uh, image, which you can burn to a CD. And essentially, uh, you'll be able to boot back into your operating system should any kind of update like this one decide to fail. With that said, I don't think I should have any problems with Chimera. Um, that's why I'm kind of confidently installing it, which just finished. And this can, I'm not saying it will, it can fix some of the graphics related issues and whatnot with your Hackintosh. So without further ado, if you do install Mountain Lion or Lion or whatever version of OS X you want to choose, um, 
it's always a good idea to try the updated uh, bootloader and if that doesn't work well then there are other options that we can try and I'll go through them one by one with you guys so this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial again if you need any tutorials of any kind just let me know it doesn't necessarily have to be Hackintosh I know I'm infamous with this one video after another of Hackintosh if you go and look at my site computer software is your friend .com, you'll see that Hackintosh is a part of it but it's not everything so Without further ado, this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial.